Hi everyone, so today I wanted to show you how to make a really lovely warming autumnal recipe. This is my roasted squash and we've got some kale in there so it's full of goodness and also roasted chickpeas so it's going to be high in protein too. So the first step is to preheat the oven to 190 degrees celsius. So you'll need one butternut squash, a large handful of kale, about four cloves of garlic, we'll need about half of this red chilli, a small handful of pumpkin seeds, and also a 400 gram tin of chickpeas, and then I'm also going to garnish it at the end with these sprouts. These are just alfalfa sprouts. Then we'll also need about two teaspoons of this dried oregano, and I've also got some thyme here. This time I actually just bought back for my holiday in Crete. It's amazing there, it is so, so fragrant. So I brought it back, put it in this little jar and it grows all over the mountains and the hills on the island. Oh, it's just so, so amazing. So any kind of dried thyme that you can get will be great. I'm sure you can't go all the way to Crete to get this one, but the dried thyme just works so well, the squash. So we're basically going to roast the chickpeas and the squash and then we'll pan fry the kale. And at the end I'm going to make a really lovely maple vinaigrette. So I'll show you how to make that at the end. So the first step is roast the chickpeas. These take about 40 minutes in the oven. So we're going to rinse and drain these totally. I'm gonna to dry them as much as I can with a tea towel or paper towel. And then we're going to just roast them with some delicious herbs, salt and pepper. So these have got the olive oil, salt, pepper, and the dried thyme, and they're going to roast for about 40 minutes until they're nice and golden and crispy. So if we're just going to slice the squash in half. And then I'm just going to scoop out the seeds and the pulp that's right in the middle. So instead of throwing away the seeds, you can actually just keep these aside Get rid of the pulp, you won't need that, but if you kind of separate the seeds, lay them out on a tray, leave them to dry for about 48 hours, and then you can slow roast them. They're absolutely delicious with some salt. So I'm just going to slice these kind of as evenly as you can. And you don't need to peel these because we're slow roasting it. The skin will actually go really nice and crispy. The inside will be nice and soft. So you don't need to worry about the hustle of that. I'm just going to put all of that butternut squash straight into the roasting dish. Oh, I love that gorgeous colour. I mean, this already just looks like autumn. So I've got this amazing garlic here. I'm just going to peel about four of the garlic cloves and then I'm going to keep them whole in the dish and then it will just make the whole squash taste absolutely amazing. Okay, so the butternut squash is ready to go in the oven for about 30 to 35 minutes. So in the meantime, I'm going to get on with making the maple vinaigrette. This is so simple. All you need is one tablespoon of olive oil, one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, one tablespoon of the maple syrup, one teaspoon of whole grain mustard or Dijon mustard, and then just a pinch of salt and pepper. It's that simple, so this can just go in the fridge until the butternut squash and the chickpeas are ready. So for the kale, I'm just going to slice off the hard woody part of the stalk. So kale is really high in lots of minerals and vitamins, it's also high in antioxidants, so it's really good for this time of year when we're more susceptible to colds and flu. So I'm just going to put the kale straight into the pan, just dry fry it. That will just need a couple of minutes to heat up. And then I'm going to do the same with those pumpkin seeds. Just dry toast them in this pan. And you want to keep your eye on these because they can burn really quickly. Oh, it smells incredible.
So here it is, my autumnal roasted squash recipe. It is absolutely delicious with that maple vinaigrette. It's so, so good. Perfect for this time of year. So please give it a go and let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye.